thousands of wind turbines. There's a fan over here, so the, the point is to take the wind from the fan and um, design the most efficient wind turbine that you can to generate power from it. So design the, the fins on the turbine and uh, they change the, the size and the shape and the number of them and then they attach it to this foundation which has the light sensor on it and the light sensor can tell whenever the black fin spins around. That's the one stipulation on their design. designed to for research and education in wind energy okay and this is a like a similar in many aspects to a big wind turbine but it's in a small so you can do research in the aerodynamic aspect you can do research in the uh, diagnostics condition monitoring our specialty is condition monitoring and diagnostics so that's our main theme but still in this case we are applying here uh, for energy production using the wind energy. So here you can show them uh, we have lots of sensor in there. We use major lift and drag force so that you can do optimize with respect to drag force. Uh, we measure the tower forces so you can measure the how much loading is coming on the tower due to the wind. You can change the pitch angle, you can change the yaw angle and has a realistic gearbox uh, with a planetary and parallel shaft gearbox so you can do diagnostics as a generator so that we can show the power production so you can go from simple to all the way. It's the same connector that's used for this demo which is simulating a smart grid. So these three homes whenever the light comes on are demanding power and then the MIDAC device senses that and it adjusts the amount that it turns this generator on to suit the needs of the customers in the homes. And then it also has an auxiliary solar system so that whenever it senses that enough power is being generated from the solar system, it'll turn off the generator. So that's the that's the basic idea behind a smart grid is adjusting to the needs of the customers and the power demands without generating too much power. And then this one would be a solar panel which adjusts to the most ideal position for generating power. And these are all on these are all the same connector and they plug into the same MIDAC. So it's just different software that runs different. I'll show you the uh, smart grid demo. So normally, what you would have is a pump over here, and on the smart grid over here, you have this power plant feeding the upper half of the city. Then you have this uh, other power plant that's feeding the lower half. Now, if you look here, uh, over here, this is what's called smart. So normally, this, this is open. So because uh, this uh, upper power plant is fitting this upper half and the power plant down below is covering the rest. So if you would have a fault, say for example a permanent fault on a tree, just cutting the power lines just around the corner on this power plant, you would have half of the city that's on a blackout. So over here, why would you have like all of half of the city like just you know powering now if the uh, fault is just around the corner? Good point. So, on the uh, smart grid. Oh, oh my. Yeah. <laughs> Amazing. So if you actually have the same fall over here, uh -huh. what you have is a switch and trying to get power, but because of the tree fell off the lines, you won't. You won't actually can. So, what you have is that this through C reel, you can actually communicate each reel, and even though power wouldn't be normally going on this uh, tie over here, what it's called, because uh, it's normally open. The cereals are always sucking to each other. So over here, you you do not you do not only see flow of power, but only flow of, but also flow of information. So what's going around here is that this cereal is detecting that it has a fault over here. It's not getting any power. So that way, we uh, this cereal tells the other one, hey, I have no power. Do you have uh, you know some tie that's closed? Hey, I'm a tie. You know, and I have power over here. So if I close, I can actually feed the uh, power plant down there to basically like the whole city, isolating the fault over here. So that way you do not only get the uh, electrical engineer more time to locate the fault, 
we're actually giving their information, but you also give uh, the taxpayers over here a better, uh, uh, just not being, you know, kind of blackout because of some fault that just occurred like miles away. Awesome. So that's Good job. Thank you. Thank you. 